Hello everybody, hi there. How are y'all doing? Um, this is my first pour of the day because I had company and they just left. I love having company and I love it when they leave. You know what I mean? Be honest. It's nice having company over, but you like it when they leave so you can do your painting and stuff. I like to be able to do my painting. And um, the good thing about having company is when people come over, I find new people lots of times I can make things for, and uh, I like doing that. So this one is for my mom, and it's another earth tone and pink one, but this is a large canvas. This is bigger than I usually use. It's an 18 by 24 inch, so I'm doing five cups. So we're gonna have a lot of paint, and a lot of room to cover and it's gonna get paint everywhere uh, probably that's okay closer to the left side the messier I get every time all right I'm gonna try not to mess this one oh perfect we have to move over a little bit though I don't want it pouring off the edge. Okay. Yeah, she wanted, these are the colors she wanted, and there is Copper by Artist Loft. There is Bronze by Artist Loft. There's a brown from that U.S. Art Supply. I don't know the name of it. It's like a burnt umber. There's um, Pink by Liquitex. There's 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art, and it's got some eye candy uh, gold 24 karat gold pigment in that and black by master's touch and unbleached titanium by liquitex and those are the colors so um, I've got all these other colors out here that are Shelly art inspired pouring medium that I need to do something with and um, I'll get on to that next maybe Let's see how this turned out. All right, we'll just start here. Oh, don't pour off the edge, don't pour off the edge. Okay. that would have brought the edge. Okay. I managed it without anything pouring off. So that one right there is trying to be. I put a little bit extra pink compared to the other colors because I wanted lots of pink in it. Alrighty. Let's see if we can wrestle this beast. I'm gonna try not to get paint everywhere, but I'm probably gonna get paint everywhere. That's really pretty. Um, so far, so good. Okay, catch, catch, catch. And we'll get that corner over there. for this corner over here. So far, I'm only hearing drips coming from over there on the left, and I've got something on the table that'll cover that, so that's not too bad. It's gonna catch most of it, I think. Let's push back towards the center a little bit, lined up a little bit better. That's really pretty. And yeah, these are larger canvases. I got these from Artist Loft and they came from Michael's. 
when I went a couple weeks ago and um, I haven't used any of them yet. This is the first time. Yeah, I think she's gonna like this a lot. She likes the pink. And I got just the right amount of paint. I don't have a whole lot to pour off, but I've got enough that um, I can kind of, you know, pick and choose. I'm gonna push this back over this way a little bit, just because I don't like those those cells, those black cells right there, I didn't like those. Hang on, there's a piece of schmutz or whatever. How's that happen? I mean, it is a brand new canvas and there was nothing on it. And then I start pouring on it and there's a big piece of something in it. Where does it come from? I do not understand. I'll just pour a little paint off and then I'm not really gonna mess with it too much other than that. Um, it's very pretty. And um, I don't wanna screw it up more by messing with it a whole bunch. I like the colors. That's what I'm trying to get rid of is that open circle right there. I don't like that. I want that off. Yeah, there's not too much paint on there because it's taken a while to pour. Um, and I don't want to pour off too much because then you get those stupid little finger looking things that come when you pour too much paint off. I don't like them. But I do need to pour a little bit off this end. do that without getting the fingers. I didn't make too much of this at all. All right, let's torch that again. Let me be sure I got these corners. Okay. I'll be right back. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this extra paint over here, all these cups of paint that I've got ready. Um, I used them and I didn't like what happened, so I got sort of pissed off and I wasn't sure what to do next. And then I got tired and I didn't feel like painting anymore. And last night, that's when all that happened. And uh, I'm gonna wake up a little bit of that gold in there. There's some gold. So I didn't do anything else, and then I got this morning and I had to get ready for all this company and stuff. And so it's just been sitting there. And I'm still not sure what to do with it. Oh, uh, something will come to me. I'll figure something out. I was hoping some cute little cells would pop up in that black strip or something. I was hoping there'd be some really pretty pink ones, but not so much. Some nice little gold strips around there in here. All right, I'm not gonna mess with it. I like it like it is. There are some pink ones in there. That's pretty. Um, 
Let's get y'all down where y'all can see better. Turn off the bright light. There. Move this corner on the side over here a little bit better. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I would run out of paper towels over here with the trying to get the phone. I'll just use my shirt. That'll work fine. Let's see, I get it. Yeah, I got everything else. Okay. Yeah, boy, that fills up the whole uh, camera there. Okay, that's blurry, so let's punch a button. Now, it's not blurry. And these are all just paint. No pigment today. Um... I think on these kind of pores, I mean, some pigment is okay, but I, I have to be really careful because if I get too much, it ruins them. And that's a shame because they make the most beautiful colors, but what I've been doing is just mixing paint that is similar and you can still get different colors. You know, if you take boysenberry and mix purple and blue with it, you know, it's still an unusual color and a color that you don't find in most paint, you know. You can still do that. I like that little black corner. That's cute. All right, y'all. Um, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here. I hope you liked what we did. And uh, I hope we'll tune in next time. And until then, y'all have a good rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Don't go anywhere. Please like and subscribe. That helps me build my channel. I'm working really hard. And y'all are helping. Thank you so much.